It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Carolina Panthers. All that and more coming up next. And we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Carolina Panthers. Joined by Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, the Panthers come into 2023 with a lot of new faces, most notably, of course, at head coach and a quarterback. But what do you think it would take for them to emerge on top in the NFC South? Better efficiency on offense, partner. I think they continue to beef up the offensive line, add to the playmakers on the perimeter, and run the football with some authority. Pair that with the defense. It's been pretty good for the last few seasons. This team has a chance to take charge in a wide-open NFC South. And meanwhile, for the Colts, it's been a pretty hard fall the last couple of years. From 11 wins in 2020 to just four a season ago, how do they get back on the right path? I think they've started back on the right path with the change in the coaching staff, but a lot of it, players already on the roster playing back to the levels we've seen before. Here's the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, on to get us started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie, Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. Bryce Young, the quarterback out of Alabama with a Heisman Trophy in his hip pocket, is the new face of Carolina football. 80 touchdowns, just 12 picks in his college career for the Crimson Tide. He may be a little small in terms of size, but potential, massive. Ready! First play, and Young is going to throw it. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll get this to the rookie, Jonathan Mingo. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. To throw Young. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To the air once more, Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Third and four. Now Young. Now quick throw there is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Johnny so on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep for the Colts, Isaiah McKenzie. And no return here. Where will they spot it? 
They say just outside the 20 yard line. The Colts offense set to go to work and they're led by a guy who's bounced around a bit the last few years, hoping to find a home with Indianapolis, Gardner Minshew. Even though the Colts were a quarterback to start the NFL draft, they wanted a veteran under center this season. They tapped Minshew as that guy. The mustache and the mullet are in the Circle City and he is their starter. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 21. Now the NFL's leading rusher in 2021, Jonathan Taylor. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon back to taylor on first down trucks over him and this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. someone's looking fresh and his old line is definitely licking their chops everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman nice early burst nice gain too just need a yard here second and one They go to the ground again with Taylor. He stiff arms him. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Pass incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Minshew. To the sideline and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera. Touchdown! Cox, 42 yards. And the Colts get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7 nothing, Indy. That time, a six-play drive. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive.
One of the Panthers' big off-season acquisitions. Here's Miles Sanders. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Young on third down. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Colts will go on offense here first and 10. Play action, it's Minshew. That's caught, it's Josh Downs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That complete to Downs. Complete to Josh Downs. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Panthers' 44-yard line. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Here's Minshew. He'll get this one to Pittman. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 32-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Again, Minshew looking to throw. His throw incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Minshew sets to throw. And that is incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The Colts send out their new kicker for 2023, Matt Gay, for the field goal. This from 44 yards away. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they've moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's the result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 42-yard line, here's second and three. Off the play fake, Young. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. The coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And have that what he did after the catch. Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come up and put a hit on him, do they? And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Holding offense. Are you serious, dog? That time the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. That throw by Young incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw, Young. And connecting here with DJ Shark. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be a third and about 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Young now from the 50. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. 
And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackle. And he'll work down inside the 45. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. From the 44-yard line, here's second and six. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 30. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun is Minshew. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Looking to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Being chased out left. And he is stopped just short of third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Gay's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they get the three. It was fourth and one, and yeah, I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, That's true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Carolina getting set to take the field. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. That's the end of the first 
13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. Second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Second down, back to Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line. And he cannot get away, and Young will go down. Samson Abukum with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive, and it's been paying off for them so far this game. A 40-yard punt, no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. He'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. This pass left side to Downs. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. From the 37, they work on second and six. On the counter, it's Taylor. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he gets it down to the 32. 77 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Now Minshew on first and 10. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On second down, Minshew hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 12-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting them in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And able to use the stiff arm to gain leverage initially, but not much room thereafter. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this. Back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. On second down, it's Taylor. 
A solid move on the run, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. Down at the two. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. So the offense, a little antsy, the flag comes out, and a five-yard penalty. Ball start, offense. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. We'll Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. They'll look to throw here. Now he's got it. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And Gay knocks this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. But sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Carolina. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. It's good, and that cuts it to nine at 16-7. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Colts getting ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 27. Minshew's throw into the hands of Pittman here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Minshew, first and 10. He'll dump this off to Taylor complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five, 
from the 47. It's second and five. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Connecting over the middle with Downs. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 26. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he is going to lose yardage here. Former first rounder Derek Brown living up to the billing on that stop. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. Now Minshew. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week, said that has to be us looking good early. I like how you saw that because of the bold letters, right? You saw the emphasis that they place on that and what they believe in. And for them, it's every single snap. So it's not just a matter of getting to the quarterback and knocking the ball free. They're trying to read when that ball is going to come free. As soon as those hands separate to throw the ball, they want to be there and have a chance to knock it out. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Young now after the fumble recovery. That swung out wide to Sanders. Just a gain of a couple there at its second down. Here is Young. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. And Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this taken in by Downs. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Second and six at the 14-yard line. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The Colts on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. 
Here's Minshew. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. You know, it's been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Again, Minshew looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Throwing on first down is Minshew. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Minshew sets to throw. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this punt sails over the sideline and the spot it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. On first and 10, Young. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Young. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? 
Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Back to throw. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was gonna get it. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Young. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. First down, Young. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Young to throw it. third down well he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket he's got a receiver in the area so it's not grounding even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught final play of the half young he's going to throw one up for the end zone that's going to be knocked away and incomplete so we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Colts going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it is really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Out of the gun is Minshew. That's complete to Pierce. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Here is third down and four.
They'll drop to throw. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he powers his way up past the 30. Julian Blackman bringing him down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Now a second down throw for Young. Open man right side is Shark. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Young off the play fake. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. The play fake. Now Young. That is caught by Thielen. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 41 yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Now, from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 41. They'll run with Sanders up the middle, and they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Now Young. He's got Mingo. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That goes for a gain of 31. And that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Young. And that's incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. After another really nice run, this is where defense coordinator earns his money. His guys have been on the field a long time, so he's got to decide what he wants to do to try and slow them down. Is he going to substitute some players in, get some fresh guys, or is he just going to try to attack and try and find a way to take the ball away from them? 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Oh, Brandon, that's a game remove right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Now Young looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Sanders is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And it's good. It cuts it to two. 16-14 our score. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And able to get this out to the 25. The Colts set to take over here offensively. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a give to Taylor. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second down, another run with Taylor. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. This now a third and four. Looking to throw it, Minshew. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. First and 10, Taylor now. He'll get this to about the 38. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. All the option to give to Taylor here. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 116 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Well, partner, I have to say they called him in the right defense there. Nickel set, 
fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. A big play that time on the catch and run, and it'll move the chains. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Taylor will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Now Minshew. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Call it a big loss of 10 there. And it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. The Colts send out their new kicker for 2023, Matt Gay, for the field goal. From the right hash, that's a 31-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good, and that will push the lead up to five. So three points in response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also in letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And Young's throw there incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Young to throw again on second and ten. And his throw is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now here's Young. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. So from the 36 now, first and 10.
Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll go again with Sanders. A little juke. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. McKenzie now to return it. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, the offense has had a big day. He's been great running the football, but I don't think anybody liked that last result. No, they didn't like the last result at all, but they have to look at it in total, don't they? They've had a big day running the football. You take an occasional loss or an occasional bad play along the way, but all in all, they have to like what they've done. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. First target, first catch, and a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'll get eight yards on the run, and that is going to close out this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. Now a second and two. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. They run once more with Taylor. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. 
First and 10 here. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives them a first down. Give running left. It's Sanders. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Now second and five. Another run with Sanders. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That detracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back five-yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Finding his way home for the sack that time, Taven Bryant. He found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. And they're going to stop play here. And the injury is to, yeah, that's DJ Chark, the receiver, who's in need of some help right now. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The Panthers on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, 3 for 10. This is third and 11. Well, no, he lost the football, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Thankfully for the offensive fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Off the play fake, Young. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Quick hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. The running game's played a huge part in getting him down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. Young now. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line. But it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Partner, it's been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. Had the incompletion, then the run for no gain. Let's see now. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Dancing to his left. quarterback you've got to walk a line with it you don't want him getting happy feet but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college and here he pulls it down takes it himself and takes it into the end zone so a big play coming for the panthers they'll go for two the young's gonna throw for this figure out why they went for two there right up one you want to make it a field goal difference if at all possible they didn't get it now they've got to play some defense down the street. yeah not much margin for air now for your d they just have to get it into range After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Big strides, look at him go. And finally taken down at the 36-yard line. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. That time they're able to bottle him up, and he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Take it in at the 22. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. And he's got this down to the 35. Yards and a Panther first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. That throw by Young incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's gonna get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 26. 66 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Colts are going to take over with the football. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. They'll come up first and 10 here. Minshew. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Here's Young. He does have the first down. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown puts him up seven. But now is when the fun begins, partner, because if you go ahead and kick the extra point, it's still a one-possession game. Go for two, you might put it out of reach. Yeah, a little decision to be made. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. On the return, it's McKenzie. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So Minshew and the Colts now. Down by eight, a little over 50 seconds remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Here's Minshew. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Now Minshew. That's complete to Pierce. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you got to get up there and spike it. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Minshew's throw caught by Pierce. And this will be a first down as well, but the clock continues to move. 
And remember here, no timeouts. And this may be a case of too little, too late, unless they throw one towards the end zone and get a Hail Mary. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.